Hey guys, what's up? So this video is titled, Where Do Old Programmers Go? Um, so we're talking about what happens when programmers get old and like how old is old and, um, and, and then where do they go? Like a lot, of, a lot of times like you look around and all you see is younger developers in this industry. So it's a, it's a real bottom heavy industry where like you, you get young people that can come in and they can code just as well as old people in many cases using a lot of these newer technologies and um they don't have nearly the experience obviously but they do when it comes to things like react and Babel and webpack and all this other you know fly-by-night technology that's like hip and in here now um programming is like becoming more and more easy obviously but like th there comes a point though when an old programmer is looked at and they're like hold on a second like you don't contribute as much as these younger developers so why are we going to keep you around you're older you get sick all the time you cost more for our health insurance let's get your ass out of here but let's be real like kids out of college or younger people they're much more equipped to deal with the numbers with the calculations the constant logic the the long hours they don't have kids in many cases they don't have health issues i mean hell millennials are resilient i've seen them get into fights with bouncers on rooftop clubs in downtown and go on go into work like it was nothing on a monday but guys seriously in all honesty where do older programmers go what they do is they end up quitting the industry and they end up uh if they don't go into management then they quit the industry and they go into consulting and if they're not doing that sometimes they leave it all together just because they've made enough money maybe in their 401ks or whatever to get into some sort of com comfortable living position to where they don't need the hundred thousand dollar a year salary or whatever. And there, there's just many options that older people have naturally, not, not just in like the programming environment, but in all professions, but programming specifically, a lot of them do accumulate enough wealth through, you know, real, real estate or whatever to be able to get out of the industry comfortably to do something else part time to start their own business or whatever that's really what ends up happening to a lot of them. Now that isn't to say that there isn't old programmers in the industry right, right now, because there's probably more older programmers now than there's ever been. But the, the amount of younger developers compared to older developers, like if younger developers far outweighs older developers and there's many re reasons for that, but this is also still a very young industry and a lot of these older developers, once again, they don't really need to be in this industry after a certain period of time. They can leave. We've, we've seen a lot of like famous developers just go off the face of the map. So now you're probably asking the question, am I too old to code? Is this like such a deep, dark video that Chris is such an asshole? Um, actually, no, I, I know a guy that recently graduated college from a West Virginia university and he got hired. They never even asked him his grade. This dude, his age, um, this dude had like gray hair beard and he was like in his fifties and he got hired directly into um, a big technology company. Now I know that's anecdotal. It's one piece of evidence. However, the average age, according to a recent study that I read in the United States shows that the average age of a software developer is 40 years old. So if that is true and it's probably accurate from what I've seen, then that means there's a lot of developers that are well into their 50s and 60s and uh, we can do this for a long time. So honestly, the great news is that go ahead and work, become a developer, save for your little piece of paradise so you can buy like an island, like that one dude from Oracle who actually has a $500 million Hawaiian island. Go ahead and you maybe don't have to be that extravagant, but you know what? You can definitely find your piece of something like this somewhere probably if that's what you want to do, or you know what you could do, you could do a storefront, you know, build a store somewhere. If that's what you want to do, give back to the community, do a franchise, start your next uh, pizza shop. Who knows, man? Like the thing is though, is that older programmers can do whatever they want to do because similar to doctors, accountants, and other high paying professions, it gives them many, many opportunities to do whatever it is they want to do. And if you become an expert in any sort of subject area, you can actually, you know, the sky, the sky is the limit. You're going to be asked to write books and you're going to be asked to um, host seminars and things like that. And if you can get to that level and any sort of technology in this field, and then you've made it. And most likely you're just going to be another old 
programmer uh, who used to do stuff, but now you're living on, on a beach somewhere um, selling snow cones. 